Hello everybody, it's Vitaly here at OG Gaming, OG Gamers Live, and we're back, and we're going to talk a little bit about the TV behind me back here. I know it's a little blurry, but don't worry, we're going to switch over to the GoPro here in a minute and take a closer look at it. That is the Hisense A6H Series 50-inch 4K Smart TV with Google. Before we switch over to that GoPro, don't forget, forget to click that, the, that like, that subscribe, that share. Make sure you click the bell icon to get notified for, for new content. Uh, every little bit helps me appreciate it. Let's switch over to the GoPro. And uh, as you can see on the box, it has Dolby Vision, HDR, HDR10, Chromacast is built in, Game Mode Plus, Filmmaker Mode, uh, supports Bluetooth, works with Alexa, uh, does Dolby Vision and DTSX, and Motion Rate 120, and too many other things to mention. Anyway, let's get over here and talk a little bit about the TV. Full disclaimer, this TV was a gift. It, it was sent to me by an anonymous person supporting the channel. I have no idea who they are. Uh, but the fact that it uh, is a gift in no way affects my opinion of the TV in this review. It powers up quickly. Uh, we're going to talk about the remote right quick because that's one of the things that I really like. It has these big buttons, you know, for Netflix, Prime Video, YouTube, Disney Plus, Tubi, and Peacock. My wife, when she was alive, would have loved this remote. That was her biggest complaint with the uh, the remote on the uh, the Vizio TV and my Amazon Prime TV. I, I didn't have the, the fire stick. I had the fire box. Uh, and uh, they're both showing their age hardware-wise. That's I was really impressed on how fast this loads up. It's extremely fast. Snappy. Now, I don't know if it's because I don't have it set up, but when I powered up, it defaults to the Google TV. I don't know if it would default to TV when I set it there. I don't have any, I don't have an antenna hooked up. But let's go back. go to the HDMI that's my computer that's where I'll be using it the most and and that's okay but well, the one thing I noticed you know is on the same internet network how much faster it was loading up stuff and loading up the the, the UE and all that and I'm gonna I'm gonna assume that this it's just because of the advances that we've had in hardware. That Vizio TV, I've got one Vizio Smart TV. It's eight years old. And it might be just a little older, but I got it eight years ago. I bought it new at Walmart. Uh, the Fire TV box I got from Amazon back in 2014 or 2015, so it's nine, ten years old. No. The, the hardware's is, is at least 10 years old. I bought it uh, eight, nine years ago. I bought it in 2014 or 2015, but it, it was originally released, I think, in 2012 or something like that. And I, I don't think they made any improvements on it from 2012 to 2015. In fact, it's no longer available. You cannot even buy it anymore. They keep offering to buy it back, but they don't. I don't think they'd give me anything for it, so I'll keep it. <laughs> uh, the HDR and the HDR 10 Plus really comes in handy. It's, this doesn't really give you all an idea of how big that is. That's a 50 inch TV. And one of the things I learned right off the bat was if you're gaming on PC and you're up this close, that 50 inch is, is, is too big. It's too big for me. It's, uh, it's too much real estate to be trying to cover with that mouse. It, it, it throws me off. It would probably be fine if I was using a controller but I'm not. I play PUBG Battlegrounds on PC, and I use a mouse and a keyboard. However, it's perfect for my sim racing, and that's probably where we would get the most benefit out of this 50-inch screen. Uh, let me uh, load up a game. 
y'all bear with me here. Even uh, on this old computer, I'm running. I, I've got it set up to, to run in 4K. Uh, I did lower the game settings from ultra to medium, except for view distance. View distance is on ultra. I'll show you that when we get into the game. It's going to take a minute because this computer's a little slow. And in the lobby, I was seeing like 30 FPS. And I may have it capped at 30. I don't remember. Uh, and in, in game at 4K medium settings, I was seeing uh, anywhere between uh, 60 and 100 FPS per second. I didn't really play it long enough to get a good feel for what the actual... Uh, the 1% lows or anything like that would be. But we're booting up here. I don't know that this will do it justice. It just looks really incredible on that, that 4K screen. And on a 15-inch screen, it just looks, it's really, really nice. But, like I said, the, uh, as you can see, the, it's, there's a little bit of lag there when you first go to move the mouse, and then it takes forever to get from one side to the other, and that's, uh, I maybe could dial that in and fix it. There's some settings that you're supposed to be able to turn on game mode, but I have not been able to get to turn it on. It's, it's grayed out. We'll figure that out later. Uh, I have to say, for a budget 4K TV, it's $248 plus tax on Amazon. It's a good buy. Would I would I want to do it uh, for PC gaming? No. Everything else, yes. Uh, but if you if you just want a good 50 inch TV in 4K with with Google, uh, uh, and do your streaming and stuff, and it look really nice and and sound decent. Uh, I, I'd have to say buy this one. It's 248 bucks delivered to your house. It's 248 plus tax. Hope that helps. Till next time, this is Vitaly over here at OG Gamers. OG Gamers Live. Y'all stay safe wherever you are in the world today. And I'm out of here.